Hello and welcome to another video guide. This time it's about soldering photo etch parts. First, I will show you the basic principles of working with photo etch metal parts. You can see that the parts are etched on the brass sheet. Each part is attached to the sprue with a small pins. I recommend using a hard cutting pad for the cutting the parts. You can also use a glass or ceramic board. You could damage the parts if you cut them on the soft pad. I cut out the pins with a sharp knife from the main part. It's quite similar to working with the plastic parts. To be honest, it's a little more difficult since you must usually clean the parts with a fine file. Moreover, when you decide to start working with photo etch parts, you find out soon that you must also bend them into desired shapes. I don't recommend bending metal parts in the hands since it's a highly inaccurate and metal parts could become crooked. For this reason, there are special bending tools. You will offer a counter complex parts that you can barely bend without a proper bending tool. And this is how the completely bent part looks like. Ok, that's it. Now let's continue with the basic of soldering. This is a cheap hobby micro soldering iron. And this is a sponge for cleaning the hot tip. It must be wet. Soldering tips can be easily replaced. There are several shapes and sizes. I use the finished one. Soldering iron is very easy to use. You just turn it on and set the temperature between 350 and 400 degrees. Now please take attention, this is the most important thing. Rosin, also called calafuni or liquid soldering flux, is absolutely indispensable for my work. It allows simple application of a tin onto a metal surface and it exists in the solid or liquid state. I will show you the difference. If you have solid rosin, you must melt it first and then apply it on the metal parts with a hot spike. I do not recommend this method because it's quite difficult. That is why I rather use liquid rosin that I can simply apply with a brush onto the desired place. Right now I am using tin solder. Well, ok, it is in fact a mixture of a SN60 PB40 which contains 30% of lead. A little demonstration why rosin is so important. I put a small amount of the tin on the tip and then I try to spread the tin on the clean metal sheet without using soldering flux. As you can see the tin does not stick to the surface. Now let's do it again, but this time I apply liquid soldering flux first. I attach the soldering tip and as you can see it very nicely spill over the whole surface. It's a quite difference. This way it is not a problem to metallize the whole surface by tin. However, this method is suitable only for some cases. I would rather recommend using a common superglue for small edge parts. For example, for these landing flaps for SDB5 Douglas. Now I show you soldering in practice. I will build exhaust nozzles for Viper MK7 from Battlestar Galactica. First, I clean the metal with a fine sandpaper. This way, the fin will be better attached to the surface. It would be very difficult to bend this part without a bending tool. Now I apply the soldering flux on the part's edge. And now I apply the tin. Mm -hmm. 
joint will be hidden inside the model, so it will be not visible. Anyway, if we were not, it could be simply smooth out with a sandpaper. Tin is very soft, so it is not a problem. Super glue helps me to attach the upper part. Again I apply the soldering flux with a brush and then I fix the part with a spot soldering. Maybe you remember the beginning of this video where I had photo edge parts for the cockpit. Now I show you how it looks assembled after the soldering. The resulting construction is very firm and you would have to spend a quite a lot of effort to break it. And that would be all my friends, I hope you learned something new by watching this video. Soldering photo edge parts is not really so difficult if you use a right soldering liquid. If you do so, then you can achieve very nice results. Personally, I'm very glad I have learned this technique. In the future it will be certainly proved to be very useful. Thanks for watching and see you next time.
Be careful. Tiger need watermelon. Oh.